Hey guys and welcome to another video. I'm here in northern Chile in a town called Arica. Arica is a town with a reputation for hosting one of Chile's heaviest waves. El Gringo is featured on the CT and is still part of the regular QS roster. So I'm here in this town to see what it's actually like. Gonna check out El Gringo, have a look at some of the other spots around the area. While I'm not gonna be naming all the different spots, I do wanna show you what this town is like beyond, you know, heavy death slabs. <laughs> Going to be explaining a little bit about Arica, um, sort of where to stay, what kind of waves are on offer. Um, today the swell is pretty solid, I think it's like, yeah it's huge, it's like 8 to 10 foot. So yeah, just going to have a look around the headland and can't wait to show you guys what it's like. Oh, it look, <laughs> looks so hard to surf, so scary. But. Yeah, there must be a reason nobody's out. It is kind of closing out. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. The right was actually way more open on that. The left kind of just runs into close out onto the rocks. It looks heavy. Um, right now, there's no, there's nobody out. Kind of onshore, kind of a close out. I'm not sure if that's because it's too big or it's the, the swell angle. Yeah, <laughs> that set looked terrifying. Don't think I'm going to go surf this morning out here. <laughs> The left's mostly a complete closeout. Coming? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks brutal out there. Go to head back into town, and then maybe have a surf at the beachy out front. I, I did actually have a quick surf out there last night, um, but it's kind of like the beginner, beginner area. I think it's called El Tubo. Um, but yeah, there's not really any tubes. I just got off like the 13 hour bus ride, so I just ran out there just before dark, watched the sunset from the water, got a couple grovelly waves. Today I think it's going to be a bit bigger. Yeah, I'll see you guys there. Okay, so here we go. Just down here at Las Macas, Las Machas. Um, it's kind of like the super long beach break here in Arica. Um, the beach actually bends all the way around there. Starts in Chile and actually ends in Peru. So yeah, super long beach. Hoping if I walk all the way around, the waves are gonna be a lot bigger. Yeah, I was too scared to surf any of the slabs this morning. It's solid, so I <laughs> came down here instead. So Arica is actually on the edge of the Atacama Desert. So Atacama Desert is the driest place in the world. There's actually a town, I think it's called Kalama, and it's, it's basically never rained there. But yeah, I want to just really find out if this town has um, like more than death, death slabs, you know, if we're going to find out <laughs> depending on how good this session is. Water temp, it's not too bad. I'm in a brand new 4.3. Uh, I'm pretty toasty. I mean, you can get away with a 3.2 to be honest, but I just bought this the other day because I'm going down south on Friday. I think I've found some sort of bank, really straight beach so there isn't too much shape. Kind of like breaking way out the back and then reforming like in here. Probably try and head out the back first and then yeah, see if I can get some double ups. So answering the question, is there more to Arica than just slabs? I'm not too sure at the moment. I'm gonna get out there anyway, so see you in the water. Like with all good surf trips and travel plans, they change. And lots of places are very different to what you expect them to be. And for me, Arica has been exactly like that. <laughs> um, 
yeah definitely not my favorite place in the world the waves aren't really what i'm looking for it's either like super shallow heavy slabs or just super average beach break both of which i'm not a fan of um, so that's one of the things here in Eureka that's kind of not really that in between fun sort of wave you basically got to be a beginner or like slab hunter otherwise yeah you're a bit stuck on top of that the town itself isn't the nicest place to hang out doesn't really have that like backpacker travel sort of vibe like a lot of surf towns do aesthetically super gray not the cleanest place lots of glass everywhere one thing that has made this the last few days pretty awesome is the people at the Wilk I think it's called Wilka Wilka Kuti uh, hostel um, yeah, the people there are absolute legends. Those guys have been super helpful. Here in Chile right now, the COVID's still a, a, a big thing. So he even he was even kind enough to take me to get a PCR test yesterday. Genuinely gone out of their way to help me. So if you're coming to Arica, definitely stay there. I'll link it down below. I'm gonna be flying to Santiago tomorrow morning, first thing. So pretty excited for that. I'm gonna be picking up a hire car and cruising around there. I'm gonna end this video here. Eureka is definitely not what I thought it was going to be, but yeah, if you are coming here and you're a beginner, you can have a fun surf. If you're looking to get barreled and charge slabs, you can definitely do that as well. But in between, not the best and not the coolest place to hang out. So I'll see you down in the south of Chile. I think I've just rocked up to pumping waves.